Hey guys, I'm bringing you empties today. Um, I have a lot, so I'm ready to get started. I think these are all the empties that I acquired during the month of June. Yes, so let me go ahead and get started. First off, I finished off this Carez Mineral Setting Powder. Uh, you cannot get this anymore. I bought this on clearance sometime at Sephora. And when I got it, I wasn't really that impressed with it. And now I really, really miss it. Um, yeah, I just started using it. I was going to try to use it up and I was like, eh, I don't really like this. And then I started using it up and by the end of it, I was like, man, I really like that. I wish I could repurchase it, but fortunately I can't. It just had a really good coverage. It gave me a, a good matte coverage without being uh, powdery. So I really enjoyed that. I finished up this amazing concealer. Um, this one was in medium beige. I did just repurchase this. Uh, it was on Ulta for half price. This concealer is really, really good, but it's super expensive. And I feel that it's actually overpriced. But I got it for half price, so I felt good with that price. And yeah, I finished this up and I liked it. I have the Anastasia Brow Wiz in medium brown. I love this pencil. Um, I love doing my brows with it. I think you, most of you guys have probably tried them out or at least something similar. Then I have these two Dream Luby concealers. One is in medium or nude. I can't remember what the color is. And the other one is in radiant. I like to use these together. I mix them together. I get a good coverage with the nude. And the radiant is just too light for my skin tone, but mixed together. It gives me a nice brightening effect with good coverage. I do like these concealers. I'm not, I don't have any intention of repurchasing them right this second because I have a ton of concealers I need to work through, but I would definitely repurchase those. Um, Bare Minerals Bare Skin Concealer. This one is in light, I believe. I don't see the color anywhere. I don't know if you can see but you can definitely see through that tube. I've got as much as I can. I like, really, really like this concealer. It works really well for me, both on my face and under my eyes. Um, really like this. So, yeah. I've already repurchased that one. Next, I have this Tarte Blush and Flush. This is the old packaging for the little minis. Um, this was pretty old, but nothing seemed to be wrong with it. I didn't have any issues trying to use it. Um, I didn't have any issues trying to use it up. I really like cream blushes. <laughs> I'm like one of the only people on YouTube, I feel like, that really like cream blushes, but I just do. They give me such a nice finish, and they're never powdery, and they just sit on my skin, and I don't know. I just really like them. Okay, the next things I have are Lancome Energy Devi. Um, this was a makeup remover. I don't know. Was it an eye makeup remover? I don't remember. I hated this. I just dumped this whole bottle. I used it. I tried to use it for about a week. Then I just ended up dumping this whole bottle into my oils. I don't like oils that are this thin. They always get into my eyes and they create a film on my contacts and I can't stand it. That's exactly what this one did. I just could not keep it from getting in my eyes. And I'm really, really careful and I have like a little routine when anytime I'm using oils on my face, I like pat it down here first and then I like rub it up into my eyes so you don't get like a big chunk and that didn't work with it. I tried using it on a cotton, it, that didn't work with it. So I hated that. I, I think that's really overpriced. If you guys are interested in seeing, I don't know if you're interested at all, but I make my own oils for makeup removal. Um, it's not coconut oil and I love it. It has a nice thick consistency. consistency. It's one of the best I've tried. I'm using one from Loxy ton right now and it is similar and I that's the only thing the other the only other oil that I have purchased that I think is as good as what I make so if you guys are interested in that let me know um, J.R. Watkins foot scrub hated this as a foot scrub it was just way too 
non-abrasive. I ended up using this on my body and I liked it pretty well that way, but no. As a foot scrub, I just, I was like, this is supposed to be a foot scrub? Like, I thought it was a nice hand scrub or something of that nature, but not, not, not for your feet. Um, energizing pomegranate cleanser from Murad. Do like this. Have no issues with it. Um, wouldn't purchase it. I tend to think that like, cleansers typically are overpriced when you get them, unless they like do something, unless they have like glycolic acid or something else in them. I just don't really think it's necessary to buy high end or buy high end cleansers. This was a dashing Santa um, bath bomb or bath something, bath melt bath melt I'm not sure from Lush it was okay no actually I didn't like it I felt kind of joked um, yeah I wouldn't purchase that again it was I didn't get like any major scent I didn't get any bubbles I don't remember what it was but I just felt kind of like okay that was lackluster okay next I have a Too Faced shadow insurance primer sample I really like this. Um, I hadn't used the Too Faced in a really long time. I had been kind of stuck on Urban Decay just because I think I was getting them for free. And yeah, I I really like this one. I think it's, it just has a nice thin consistency. I didn't have notice any migrating or creasing of my eyeshadow, so enjoyed that. Would repurchase. I have actually a full size that I'm getting ready to use, I think. Kate Somerville Exfolicate. Ugh. I debated on this for a while whether or not I liked it and I've decided that no I won't repurchase it I would rather buy the Origins Modern Friction instead this is like my third little sample of this I've been through in the last year and I like the chemical aspect I like the fruit acids I like that part I cannot use the aluminum micro crystals or whatever they're called I can't use those on my face if I rub those into my skin I immediately just break out so I have to be very careful but I do really like the like cinnamon and all that stuff that's in here. Um, and that seems to help my skin actually. But I can't use the exfoli the other exfoli the the manual exfoliating side. So whoops, as expensive as that is. <laughs> I just threw that, that's funny. As as expensive as that is, um, no, not worth it. This was like a weird product I got from like a box. Uh, it was just a micro exfoliant. It really was terrible. Derm exclusive collagen lift. I only use this on my chest, but honestly I felt like I didn't notice like an extreme major difference. But what I am noticing, someone gave me a whole box of like the derm exclusive products and it's one of those subscription order services. And honestly, I've just kind of felt like the products are pretty good. You know, they're not Oprah amazing, but I feel like they're pretty good and just solid products. I haven't tried anything in their line that I wouldn't repurchase if I could use the products. That's the thing. A lot of these products I can't use on my face, but I am able to use them on my chest area. And I'm like, okay, you know, do your thing, Derm Exclusive. I'll may eye makeup remover pads. I was talking to a friend here on YouTube about these. I will link her channel down below, but so I don't actually use these to remove my eye makeup. I, I remove my eye makeup with oils. Then I go in with these little tiny thin pads and I love, I just love how thin these pads are. Um, I don't know. Let's see. My camera is like dying to focus on my face here focus on this <laughs> um anyways they're just so thin and you can fold them up I use these instead of q-tips like if I want to clean up my makeup or get it right into my waterline I mean you can just fold that up and use like bunches of sides of it you can dip that right down into the corner you don't have to have a separate product like you might for a q-tip um and that's how I use these or like in the morning sometimes you wake up and you might have raccoon eyes whoosh, love it that's what I use these for I don't actually use them to remove my eye makeup because they're not really that good at removing eye makeup it just takes too many and it too much rubbing so anyways I just thought I would clarify that since I was just talking about with that since I was just talking about that to someone the other day these were actually two perfumes that I hated well no I hated this one this was the how do you say this atelier 
I don't know. I don't know how to say this, but it's Atelier or something. Um, come on, you know, you want to focus on that. I, I did not like the smell of this. It was so weird. Oh, it kind of smelled like Rose and New Car. <laughs> so I got this and I just purchased it on a whim because it was Rose and I was picking up things at Sephora and I was like, eh, that's inexpensive enough. I'll just pick that up. No. I hated that, so it was kind of like, what am I going to do with this? Then my mom gave me these little, Cal like a little Calvin Klein gift set, and it had Eternity in there, and I don't know. I don't hate Eternity, but it is like way too sweet, and then you have this one that's like way too spicy, so I was like, what if I mix them together? So I wore these together, and I absolutely loved the fragrance that resulted to the point where I was like, should I repurchase that? But no, I'm not going to repurchase either one of these just to do that but that was I really enjoyed that so that was fun next I have primal pit paste natural deodorant in the light formula okay I would not repurchase this well yes and no primal pit has, paste has like has baking soda in it and then they have formulations with less baking soda and then they have a formulation with no baking soda. The light formulation is the one with less baking soda. I do not it is not powerful enough for me to work to use during the day so what I do is I use the light formula or the no baking soda formula I like to use them at night just because they're kind of moisturizing and then I don't really stink at night so I don't really have to worry about I don't really like get stinky when I sleep so I don't really have to worry about like it not being strong enough or whatever but if my arms are feeling a little bit dry or just like I need, want something on, I will reach for these light or the um, Happy Pits, I think is what the other version is called. But if you have sensitivities to baking soda, it might be useful to you to look into one of those. Bliss Triple Oxygen Instant Energizing Mask. Um, I like these and it's frustrating that I like these because they are ridiculously overpriced. I don't feel like these are worth the price whatsoever, but I do enjoy using them. I just feel like they kind of help. If I'm having sort of a bad breakout, I feel like, and I use this, I feel like it kind of helps my breakout heal faster. Um, yeah, and that's just really what I, I feel like. <laughs> I don't know, that's just really my, my perception of this product, but the full size of this is like $56, I think, regular price. No, I wouldn't pay that much for it because I don't think it's that good. I think it's good, but not that good. Next, I have Victoria's Secret Love Spell. Um, I really like this fragrance. This is like, I feel like this is an iconic fragrance. This is like college for me when I first started college. This was the fragrance du jour. Yeah, this just reminds me of college. I don't love it as much as I used to, but I, I do still really like the scent of it. I think my favorite fragrance from Victoria's Secret is the Passionate Kisses one. Oh, I love that one. It smells like Kool-Aid. I don't know. That one does smell really nice. <sighs> Anyways, Aubrey Organics New Style Organic Hairspray. I really like this for wearing my hair curly. The first ingredient in here is water. So this is a very watery formula. Um, and if you have wavy or curly hair, you know that it's, it helps activate your curls if you spray water on your curls. So I really like this because I can kind of spray it in. It helps activate my curls and it gives me a little bit of hold that's not like overly crunchy or nasty. I don't know that this is for everybody. It is an organic, um, product. They have changed the formulation of it. I went to go purchase it again and it was not available. And this one is the main like thing is organic quinoa protein. Now they have like the same, pretty much the same formulation except the main thing is like organic chia or whatever. Um, they're very, very similar. I can't really tell a difference. I've been using that one for the last week or so and I, so far I can't really tell a difference. So as always, we have an EOS shave cream. Love this stuff. Um, it's just very moisturizing. It's a lotion-y shave cream. I don't have any issues with it. Probably my biggest issue is that the end product's kind of hard to get out, but I just dump it into another container. Um, I just, I like it because it's affordable. It's only $3. <clears throat> I 
and a lot of the other products that I have like looked into or tried that are, have this consistency are just a lot more expensive and they don't last as long so I do really like this I will continue to purchase it I have another a couple that I do want to try on my radar but I really like the EOS shave creams they're definitely something that I will keep purchasing next we have two Cetaphil cleansing cloths gentle skin cleansing cloths <clears throat> I like these okay I think they're good I don't use a ton of cleansing cloths these were both one of these was in my travel bag and it only had like two or three left in it the other one was just naturally used up um took me several months or probably I don't know five or six months I have no idea I feel like it took me a long time to use this but anyways I do like these I would purchase these again they don't they're nice they're moist enough they don't they're not like super abrasive like a lot of drier cleansing cloths are they don't dry out too fast and the product on them is good you know it removes my makeup and I'm happy with it I would like to try the Neutrogena ones I have never tried those but other than that I like the Olay the Olay ones and those are like the only ones that I've ever tried that I like We'll stick with Cetaphil. I have a gentle cleansing bar. I use this as both a brush cleanser and a face cleanser. So I go through about one of these every six weeks or so. So almost every time I do empties, I have one of those. I had a whole box of these. There were three packages of 15 in the box. This is the Derm Exclusive Micro Peel Resurfacing Pads. Another product that I've tried from Derm Exclusive that I was really happy with. It's just a derm a glycolic pad that you rub on your face um, lots of brands make those I really liked these I thought they were effective I won't join derm exclusive just to get these but you know if you are a derm exclusive member or if you're interested you know that's a good product African formula sulfur soap I love these for active breakouts. If you like sulfur for active breakouts or if you have never tried sulfur for active breakouts, please try this. It's $3 and it is not drying. I have a active Dead Sea Minerals. Oh, this was a lotion I got as a sample. Nothing. I didn't like this at all, actually. Um, it wasn't moisturizing and the product, the full-size product is really expensive. So, no. Didn't like that at all. Uh, the All Natural Face Foundation in Light Beige Pale. This is just a little sample. You can buy like a sample kit of a try. It's like a try me kit of their powder foundations. And I think it's like six bucks. It's not very expensive. And they'll send you every color in their range. I love that. I bought that first before I picked out my color foundation. And I have just been using these little sample sizes that were in the wrong color to, you know, help color match my other foundation. My, my powder foundations that don't quite match me or just adjust them a little bit. Oh my gosh, I feel like I have so many empties. This was a chapstick. I wouldn't have picked this up, but I was in an airport. My lips were so dry and I didn't have a chaps I didn't have any like lip stuff in my bag. And I was like, I've got to have something for my lips. And so I go into the little store and it's like, you can buy original chap chapstick or original chapstick. No options whatsoever. So I picked this up and I really liked it. I was like, oh, hold up. That might be my new thing. I was really happy with that and I would definitely repurchase that again. Derma E Anti-Wrinkle Vitamin A Glycolic Scrub. This was something I got in a box. I actually really, really liked it. Um, not sure if I'm going to repurchase it again, but I am heavily thinking about it. It's kind of on like a list of things that I would really like to repurchase. Yeah, I did really like that. Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. I've had the full size of this before. I love it. It's just a nice light summery aquatic fragrance and it just smells really good and it makes me happy. Um, Bosha Bright White Mask. Hated this. Just, I don't know, I couldn't get it to work. I couldn't get the mask to set up. I was, usually with peel off masks, I leave them on my face until they kind of start peeling off themselves. I couldn't get this one to do that. I don't know if it was just old or... I read some reviews and it seems like a lot of people kind of had that problem, but I don't know. It just didn't work for me. It didn't really feel like it did anything for me. It almost maybe was maybe a little irritating to me, so I didn't like that one at all. Another Alme. This was a travel size little guy. 
Let's see, Oscar de la Renta, something blue. I think I talked about this last time. Um, this one kind of reminds me of fresh cut grass at the beach. I think it smells really nice. I think it smells very elegant and mature um, in a nice way. So I did really enjoy that. This was another all natural face foundation sample. This was an ivory rose. See, this one was like really pink. They have the best color selections. I've ever seen from a company. If you like powder foundation, you should definitely check them out. Fresh Peony Brightening Night Treatment Mask. Um, I used this a couple times and I just used it on the dark spots. There were a lot of ingredients in here that I didn't necessarily want to put on my face because I was scared it would break me out, but it did seem to help a little bit. Um, but those little sample sizes, you can't really tell. But And it didn't seem to break me out. Where I did apply it, I didn't have any issues. So I doubt I would purchase it again, but maybe if I could get a bigger sample or something, I would be interested in that. Living Proof Style Lab Hair Satin Hair Serum. I have a bigger sample of this, and I think I would rather wait to talk about it then, because I did have a very positive experience with this little guy, and the bigger sample I'm kind of back and forth on, so I don't know. I'm not sure where I'm at on that. Um, your ad Intensive C Radiance Peel. I did like this a lot, actually. This is something I would definitely consider repurchasing. I can't remember. I th this is one you just kind of put on your face. It's like really creamy, but it does have acidic ingredients in it. It has a lot of vitamin C. Almost all of my skincare at this point in time is masks. I have realized that because I can't leave a lot of products on my face, I am just going for it with masks. Masks don't seem to irritate my skin like moisturizers or serums and stuff do. So I'm really just going for it with masks. I'm getting all of my like vitamin C and all of my acids and all of my anything moisturization. Everything's coming from a mask right now and it's working really well for me. So maybe something to look into if you do have acne prone skin. Uh, Juice Beauty Stem Cellular Moisturizer. I used this on my chest. I was afraid to put it on my face. I think it would have been okay based on the ingredients in there, but my skin has just been kind of like off and on and I've been working on sunscreen this summer, trying to find a sunscreen that doesn't break me out. And I just, ugh, it's so frustrating because I can, you can only try like one product at a time to know, you know, if you want to know which one's the problem, you can only really do one at a time. So I just went ahead. This was expiring actually next month it was going to expire so I just went ahead and used it on my chest and yeah I enjoyed it I thought it worked really well didn't have any issues it was nice and creamy without being super heavy and I liked it um all right three more products running 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 royal apothic cup of cup of mask I liked this it was very very cooling to the point I was reading the reviews and people were like ah it was stinging my face I didn't get that experience it just felt really cooling to me and nice and just a pleasurable experience then I looked up the full size price and I was like 55 bucks and I was like yeah no not worth it uh, this was a schwa sample. It is from Clinique. It's the take of the day off cleansing milk. I picked this up because I really, really, really loved the cleansing balm, but I didn't like dipping my hand into the container. So I thought, ooh, well let me try the cleansing milk and see if it's as good as the cleansing balm. I, in my opinion, they are not even in the same ballpark, so no, I won't pick that up again. And Sexy Peel Soap. I, this is just a little sample from Lush. It was really nice. Um, it felt nice on the skin. I wouldn't purchase it again, but I enjoyed the soap. So there you have it. Uh, that's all my empties for the month of June. It was a lot of empties.